all right people. So somebody wanted me to do my thoughts on communism and other and some other political uh, methods to rule by. Um, so here we go. So I mean, the main things I'm gonna really talk about are just you know the three main ones in my my uh, opinion, I guess, are communism, socialism, and then capitalism. Um, so I guess I'll kind of touch on those three. So first we got communism. Um, I mean, communism is not good. I mean, in theory, like when I was a kid, I asked my stepdad, I'm like, why can't we have a system? And I was pretty, pretty little too. Why can't we have a system where um, we just all do our jobs and then we get, you know, I mean, the, the, like everybody's equal. I was kind of advocating for that. Like, why can't we all do our jobs? And then, like, we get a little ticket, and then we could go buy our groceries if we do our jobs, and, you know, it's, it's shit, like, I was talking, like, uh, I was kind of advocating for communism. In theory, it sounds like a great idea. Like, everybody gets their pay, you know, everybody's told what to do with their jobs, and everybody does their job, and, uh, you know, gets their food, and everybody's equal, um... You know, and uh, in reality, it kind of sounds like a good idea, especially if you're like a little kid who doesn't have a, who doesn't have a big brain, and that's really a lot of our people in this country. That's what they act like. So, I mean, that's I'm being realistic. I mean, a third of the country doesn't even know the three branches of government. So that tells you something right there. So anyway, you know, a lot of these, um, you know, communism sounds like a, a great idea in theory, but it's not. I mean, look at it. I mean, there's no, there's no, uh, there's no, uh, what, 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 what am I, motivation for working hard because everybody's equal. I mean, that's pretty much the main problem there with, uh, cap, or, um, communism. There's no motivation there. And the government's usually in control. It's big, big government telling you what to do. There's no freedom usually. So that's really what's wrong with communism. And if you look over the communist dictators like Stalin and Mao, Mao killed like 70, 76 million people, and it was, you, I guess you could round up to 80 mil. Um, and then Stalin killed a bunch too, I don't know the exact number. See, they're always demonizing Hitler, who's a horrible guy, horrible dictator. They're saying, oh, he's horrible, you know, that's like the worst guy ever in history. But he killed 7 million, I was going to say only 7 million, but 7 million is a ton of people. He killed 7 million Jews, which is horrible. But look at Mao, who killed... 76 million, yet we don't see anything about him, do we? We hear very little about him in the mainstream media and textbooks. It's all about Hitler. And again, while Hitler was a horrible person, there's other, there's more vicious dictators who have killed more people than Hitler. So anyway, that's kind of a side issue. So communism is not good. I mean, it just leads to tyranny and, and you know, nothing good. So then we got socialism. Socialism. There we go. That sounded better. Socialism, which is kind of a mix between capitalism and communism. The idea of socialism is uh, it, it's kind of like the poor get taxed less while the rich get taxed more. Kind of that idea. And while there's a little more um, uh, motivation for working hard, um, I mean, there's you, you could still make it if you don't do shit. So again you could still be successful in society if you um, if you don't do anything, if you don't have an education, if you're a dumbass, because there would still be giant welfare checks and shit. And that's kind of the idea of socialism, you know, like like what Obama's doing now, trying to advocate for like two, three years of community college. That's socialism. Um, you know, like f having free things all over the place, you know, like free food, free water, free whatever. And I'm not a, you know, like, if somebody's doing bad, um, you know, people are like, oh, have, you know, and I'm kind of torn on the issue of whether there should be welfare or government-run health care or not. And I, my, I tend to side towards the, the side of letting uh, private, because I think if you don't allow welfare and if you, if you tax the people very lightly, then it's going to be a very nice economy. You're going to have a very good, prosperous economy where chair people are able to flourish and then in turn give money to the poor people. And I think that's the better way of doing it because whenever the government gets involved, it's not usually a success. So, um, you know, but again, I think with, like, health care, again, I'm kind of torn on that issue because, like, 
if somebody's got hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of medical bills, it's going to be pretty hard to find a charity that's going to pay that. So, and it's, you know, if you're, if you're a middle class family, how are you going to afford that? I mean, it's kind of like, you know, I'm kind of torn on that issue. Um, but I got, you know, I could talk about that another day. But anyway, I mean, kind of the idea of socialism is you get a lot of stuff for free. Um, you know, the government really helps you out a lot. Um, and then the idea of capitalism, which I think is the best idea, is, and, 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 you know, you get, like, I'm sure socialism would advise for a minimum wage and, like, all these economic, uh, um, what, what's the word, I'm like, restrictions or regulations where you can't discriminate in the workplace. And while discriminating in the workplace is bad, it should be allowed because it, you have a right to be racist. You, have a, you know, you can be racist if you want to be. I'm not advocating for that, but you can if you want to be. So anyway, I think pure capitalism is where there's, you don't tell businesses what they can price their products at. You don't tell businesses what they can pay their workers. You don't tell businesses how they can fire or hire their workers. You, you really get the fuck out of the businesses. You don't tell them what to do, and that's how you get a true free market with true competition. So I think capitalism is the best way to go. Um, you get true competition, uh, and people are like, oh, you know, you shouldn't be able to discriminate in the workplace. That's a horrible thing. Well, if, the, if you get, if let's say we have business A and business B, and business A only hires, you know, that we, we hear that they fire black workers just because they're black. Chances are that business isn't going to succeed for two reasons. One, it's only worried. It's worried a lot about the color of the people of their skin and not their job qualifications. And two, the the people are probably going to hear about that, and they're not going to want to go to somebody who's racist. So that's you know the government should not have that. The government should not go after people who are racist. That should I think the free market will bring people who are racist down. And if you look back at the civil rights era, you know like restaurants wouldn't allow black people in their in their uh, you know to eat there or whatever. Or they would have certain sections sectioned off for blacks. If if there was somebody who opened the restaurant to blacks and let them, you know, didn't discriminate, I'm sure that restaurant would be very fucking successful. So you see where I'm getting at here. Capitalism is the way to go. It creates a big fucking economy, a uh, big prosperous economy, wealthy people. And the way I go, I see it, you know, I've really thought about this and the way taxes go. I think everybody should just have an amount that they they have to pay to the government. You know, because why should it matter how much you make for for what you have to pay for taxes? You know, let's say you make fifty thousand one year and a hundred thousand one year. Why should you have to pay extra just because you made more? So you should be um, you should be uh, penalized for. Uh, making more. It's like in school. They would always give you extra credit for problems you missed. Um, you know, sometimes if you bombed a test, it would be like, oh, people who got 80% or below can, you know, m correct the problems and get half back. Well, why would you do that? You're, so you're rewarding people with points back. We're, we're rewarding people who got a bad grade with points back. It, it just makes no sense. So I, I, I'm, I'm kind of for the idea that everybody just pays a flat tax just one you know one one tax whether it be you know let's say you got 300 million and you pay a few thousand dollars a year or something i don't know I'm, I, I, you know but that's just my belief i'm a libertarian it's kind of a li i'm giving you the libertarian point of view here uh from what i really see um and, and while most libertarians would probably be like yeah we won't we don't want government run health care we don't want welfare that's kind of the only kind of issues that I'm a little bit non-libertarian, I guess, if you want to say. I'm kind of, again, I'm kind of torn on the issue of that. Uh, I'm, I'm for welfare being run by, uh, you know, churches and charities, but health care is kind of the really big issue that really divides me. Um, but anyway, that's kind of my thoughts there on capitalism, communism, and socialism. And that was kind of, uh, that was a requested video, um, requested to do that and if you want to request a video leave it in the comments below or ask me on twitter at wwe heel punk and by the way i will be uh doing uh reviving my old twitter at ruthless ranter 
uh, pretty soon, I think, to give you little updates on there. Because I think that's just easier to do. So anyway, there you go, people. There's my thoughts on the subject. <laughs>